I'm going to show you the absolute best way to remove dental plaque from your teeth. Plaque is a biofilm of microbes. What is biofilm? It's like a calcium igloo around a group of microbes, and they build this calcium shell to protect themselves. But plaque is one of the primary causes of gingivitis, of bad breath, as well as decay of your teeth. And it's not just because you're not flossing or brushing your teeth. You could brush your teeth and floss your teeth all day long, and you can still get plaque. And I'm going to tell you why. Your mouth contains the second largest group of microbes in your entire body. So you have hundreds, if not thousands, of different types of species of microbes growing in your mouth. But the majority of these microbes are commensal. It's not necessarily unfriendly. It's not necessarily beneficial. The derivation comes from the word which means eating at the same table. Now, these microbes, you can call them friendly microbes. They actually do give us protection because here's the problem. If you kill them or try to kill them, um, all of a sudden you end up with a yeast infection or a candida infection, even in your mouth. Well, apparently those microbes are keeping the, the candida in check. They keep the fungus in check. So if you kill them off, now you have this overgrowth of fungus. It's called oral thrush. But these microbes are supposed to be fairly neutral and not bother you. Plaque develops when this commensal friendly relationship changes to an unfriendly relationship called a pathogenic relationship. And I don't know if you've ever had this happen in your life where you had a friend that turned on you. Well, this is the same situation. These biofilms develop under stress. Okay, what kind of stress? Well, a lot of things can stress them out. You eating the wrong foods, eating a lot of sugar, uh, smoking, alcohol, antibiotics. I already mentioned that. Now, is there any type of, I don't know, chemicals that maybe mimic an antibiotic in your mouth? The answer is yes. The main chemical in mouthwash, for example, which is called chlorhexidine. And if you look at the side effects, it increases acidity. It increases the risk of decay. What about fluoride that's in all your toothpaste. It's in the water supply. Wow. I did a little deep dive on that. Check this out. Fluoride has been around for 60 years. There's never, ever, ever been any randomized control studies on fluoride in the water supply. The FDA recognizes fluoride as a drug. If you look in the back of your toothpaste, it'll say, keep out of reach of children. Do not ingest and the fluoride that is in the water supply is not pharmaceutical grade, like the stuff that you would get at the dental office. No, it's not. The fluoride in your water supply is a hazardous material from the phosphate fertilizer companies. But what's really bizarre about this is like, who's running the show on fluoride? Is it the American Dental Association? No. Is it the FDA? No. Is it the CDC? Nope. Is it the Environmental Protection Agency? The answer is no. So who is running the show on fluoride? Well, it's a private entity. This is just another reason to get a water filter to specifically pull out fluorides from the water supply. I have one in my house. It's a whole house um, fluoride filter. I have one for chloride and I have one for fluoride because I don't even want that stuff touching my skin, let alone going on my body. And also, as far as the toothpaste goes, you, you know, you might want to think twice about getting the fluoride in the toothpaste. I would get a toothpaste without fluoride or even just make your own. So the dental plaque is coming from these pathogenic microbes, their biofilms, because there's been something in your mouth that created a stress. So obviously, whatever that is, based on the information you have now, you can, you know, stop exposing these microbes to that. But now, how do you get those microbes back in your mouth? Yes, you can buy a probiotic for your mouth, absolutely, but you can just start consuming foods that have probiotics, okay? Sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir. If you just start consuming some of those on a regular basis, that can put the microbes back in your mouth. And of course, if you're chewing gum, make sure you do the xylitol gum. These new microbes will start to compete for food against the pathogens. And so there's great information. I'm going to put the links down below to show that taking probiotics can help not just um, 
reduce chronic halitosis, but also reduce plaque on your teeth. Now, if you want a good recipe to make your own toothpaste, I put it up right here. Check it out.